Now friends, in the last class we have discussed about NEAT plus 1 botany and we have discussed about different chapters starting from you know, diversity in the living world, structural organization in plants and we have discussed some topics of the unit, cell structure and function. In today's lecture, we will continue about the remaining chapters with respect to its conceptual analysis and approximate weightage. Okay. In the last class we have discussed about certain aspects of cell structure and function. Say we have discussed about different aspects of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, say different aspects of cell organelles with respect to eukaryotic cell, likewise, then biomarkets as well. Then another sub theme under cell structure and function is cell cycle and division. Cell cycle and division. Cell cycle and division. Cell cycle and it is nothing but a sequence of events that comprises of duplication of genomic DNA and other cellular components that leads to the division of, that means the formation of two daughter cells. And it is a progressive or phase manner. Say in general, cell cycle involves two phases, an interphase and M phase. M stands for mitosis. Actually, the interface lasts for longer time. That means around 95 percentage of the cell cycle duration will be occupied by interface. Then M phase. So here in the interface, again have subdivisions. You know, G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase. You know, the cell cycle is, is nothing but, for example, this is a G1, S, G2, then M, then G1. Okay? Here, M with respect to mitosis, yeah, M phase or mitosis phase. The G1, S, G2 comes under interphase. Okay? And this M phase again have, as we said, you know, prophase, metaphase, Anaphase and telophase. So these are sub different subdivisions of cell cycle. You know, broadly cell cycle of interface, the M phase, interface of G1, S, G2, M again, you know, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Okay, interface is a preparatory phase. So in examination point of view, they might ask you in which phase does the DNA gets duplicated? Is the yes phase, for example, you know. Yes phase. DNA duplication will take place during yes phase. Likewise, we have to study. As I mentioned, we have to study in depth based on conceptual analysis and clarity. Regular divisions is most important for to get higher marks, you know, because cell cycle nearly occupies around 15%. That means cell structure nearly occupies around 15 percentage. Respect to you know weightage. Okay. So it's about cell cycle and you know that means interface and M phase. Here, sometimes, you know, meiosis will also take place in gamete cells. Meiosis. Meiosis is 1 and 2. Meiosis 1 means again prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase. Likewise, prophase, two, meta, two, ana, two, and zero. Two. You know, the prophase one is the longest phase. Say, so it gain the of leptotein, zygotein, pachytein, diplotein. Diakinesis. Packet, you know, packet in stage is very important examination point of it, of course, in conceptual point of view as well. Crossing out takes place in packet in stage, that means prophase 1 of meiosis 1. Packet in stage of prophase 1 of meiosis 1. 
crossing over the significance of this wave is crossing over Exactly crossing over. No, it's the exchange of genetic material between the non sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes. See, the enzyme is recombinase is very important. They may talk about about the phase or if the enzyme involved in examination point of view. Okay, this is how this is about the importance of you know prophase one. Then, as I mentioned, the mitosis, the M phase, you know, it can be conveniently divided into two the karyokinesis and the cytokinesis. The karyokinesis, as I mentioned, you know, prophase, metaphase, and aphase, pseudophase will come. Followed by the cytokinesis, that means ultimately the two daughter cells will form. In case of gamete cell, the meiosis 1 and 2 will form likewise, and prophase 1 it's a significant is packaging where the crossing over takes place. So, as I mentioned, to specify to understand different concepts and to try to understand the significance of certain cycles, this is, this is very, very important. So, like S yes phase of you know interface, because in, in case of S yes phase, DNA duplication or replication will take place. Likewise, each and every phase has its own significance. So, to understand and learn accordingly okay it's about cell cycle and division then the last unit in plus one botany is plant physiology plant physiology it occupies that means approximate weightage is nearly 17 percentage it has sub things that means sub chapters you know like transport in plants, transport in plants, mineral nutrition, photosynthesis in higher plants, in higher plants, respiration. Plant growth and development. Plant growth and development. As I mentioned, there are, these are the important sub chapters of plant physiology, but it is the most important chapter because it, its occupancy is nearly 17 percentage. Just imagine, cell cycle is around that means cell structure and function is around 15 percentage, and whereas plant physiology is around 17 percent. That means 32 percentage from exclusively nearly okay from these two chapters. That's so. As I mentioned, this approximate weightage, it's a, it's a prediction, though it's a prediction, will give us a direction which chapters we have to focus, okay? With respect to transportation, transport in plants, you have to understand about major, you have to understand about major means of transport, like, you know, say diffusion, the passive transport, you know, facilitated, that means different sub-themes are covered under transport in plants, I'm giving, okay? At least that means superficial analysis okay. respect to different topics okay diffusion facilitated facilitated diffusion diffusion again of uniport symport and antiport antiport we have active transport, active transport, osmosis, plasmolysis, imbibition, then pathways, epoplastic pathways, symplastic pathways, for example, with these with respect to transport of water, say, they, with respect to you know, how the water transport from root hair to deeper parts. Epoplast, symplast, epoplast pathway, symplast pathway. Then transpiration, transpiration, but water potential, uptake of nutrients, that means uptake and transport of nutrients, okay? Take of nutrients, then flow and transport. The thing is, in transport in plants, in cho this chapter means to the please go to understand at the definition level. What is osmosis, for example? Or what is uniport? What is symport? What is anti? For example, symport, antiport means here, if the two molecules are transporting in similar direction, the symport, antiport in opposite direction, 
one molecule which is from outside to inside and the molecule from inside to outside one exit and one entry is antipode same for so for to understand its concept its meaning according to the in the questions so at least different definitions were to cover then technical description of different concepts in transport in plants is very important okay so these are different sub themes in transport in plants then regarding other uh, things you know mineral nutrition mineral nutrition mineral nutrition essentially deals with essential mineral elements you know essential mineral elements essential mineral elements what is what are the essential elements what exactly the interpretation of the word essential element means the elements with, without which we cannot expect plant growth their essence their presence is a, is essential for the metabolism for development that means without which we cannot expect a proper functioning of the plant growth or the plant metabolism as well so it's about interpretation of the word essential essential elements depending on the requirements of two kinds you know macro and micronutrients macro and micronutrients macro like you know carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen phosphorus sulfur potassium calcium magnesium likewise say micro means you know iron nickel copper zinc boron etc so depending on the requirements again have you no know, macronutrients and micronutrients so this is this is an important phase and we will understand about its role that means the nutrients role its deficiencies also and about other things in plant nutrition is you know about uh, nitrogen fixation this is very important nitrogen fixation what is nitrogen fixation the conversion of atmospheric nitrogen n2 into ammonia is a reduction of nitrogen into ammonia so it's nitrogen fixation so and this nitrogen fixation you know is for example you know biological nitrogen fixation what to study about biological and in which specifically study about symbiotic nitrogen fixation say biological nitrogen fixation is like you know, microorganisms like azotobacter anabina nostoc they fix the atmospheric nitrogen but a symbiotic nitrogen say rhizobium rhizobium we have to study and understand about nodule formation how they fix the nitrogen in a symbiotic manner to so learn this concept very important okay that be nitrogen cycle the biological nitrogen fixation specifically the symbiotic nitrogen fixation about rhizobium in its support okay it's about different aspects of mineral nutrition okay then the most important chapter in plant physiology not just an examination point of view but in conceptual point of view also it's about photosynthesis in higher plants photosynthesis in higher plants this is very important is i am giving directly the main chapters that, that we main contents or themes are to cover photosynthesis here two phases here light reaction or photochemical reaction and dark reaction In light reaction here what exactly is the light reaction as part of the reaction here light driven process here dark reaction means they do not depend directly on the light but the products of light reaction what exactly i am going to say is in light reaction it involves the steps like trapping of light splitting of water you know and formation of energy intermediates like atp and nadph and because this atp and nadph will be utilized in the dark reaction for the synthesis of sugars That's how they interlink, you know. And this light reaction again of you know two phases, you know, non-cyclic and cyclic. Under the head of non-cyclic and cyclic, you have to learn about different photosystems, PS one and PS two. Photosystem one and photosystem two. PS one or P seven hundred. PS two or P six eighty. Seven hundred six eighty are nothing but it's a wavelength seven hundred nanometers. The red light, 
they absorb the light like, you know with your visible light 38 to 70 nanometers it's a wavelength under the spectrum band you know and it these will with these will bring to the wavelength they absorb absorption maxima okay here yeah, the thing is say the photosystem one and two consists of you know say light harvesting complex or antenna they consist of light harvesting complex different pigments in association with proteins and they also have a reaction center which contains chlorophyll a and this is very important and these reaction centers then they they are linked with other systems to electron transport this electron transport that means electron transport chain they readily they they they, they move the electron electrons in such a way that it leads to synthesis of atp and, and, and nadph if the ps1 and ps2 they the both are linked together in just like a z scheme what we call okay they are known as non cyclic here the end products you know the products of non cyclic are atp nadph and oxygen as well but as in case of cyclic only ps1 involved ps1 because we knew that chloroplast is site of photosynthesis i am not going to the basics okay chloroplast is site of where that means the location where the photosynthesis takes place so the grana membrane a grana lamella grana lamella you know non cyclic will take place in grana but as cyclic will take place in stroma lamella stroma lamella but in, the thing is in stroma lamella there will be no photosystem 2 and there will be no nadp detectase it means in uh, the, the the enzyme responsible for the synthesis of nadph for example you know, reductase enzyme you know. there will be no ps2 no and and and, uh, and 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 reductase only ps1 is present that is why in photosystem 1 what we call cyclic because in cyclic only photosystem 1 is involved that means p700 only atp is are synthesized but as in non cyclic both atp and nadp and oxygen as well and these are the new important intermediates as i mentioned dark reaction depends on the products of light reaction and these atp and nadph will be used in the dark reaction for the synthesis of sugars and again depend in the you know in hair plants there are two different cycles you know c3 and c4 cycle c4 cycle is, is adaptation in dry tropical plants dry tropical plants in examination point of view they may ask you which kind of plants adopt or you know follow c4 pathway the dry tropical plants and c3 cycle you know it will take place in mesophyll cells mesophyll cell the thing in the, the significance of c4 cycle you now trans anatomy trans anatomy you know we discuss now surrounding the vascular bundle there are specialized cells they are bundle sheet cells okay and in this bundle sheet cells in this bundle sheet cells they will perform the c3 cycle i will tell what exactly in this let us come to the c3 cycle c3 the word implied means the first stable product of carbo carbon fixation or carboxylation is a three carbon organic acid is c3 cycle say pga three phosphoglyceric acid three phosphoglyceric acid and the first that means primary carbon dioxide acceptor for well, carboxylation is five carbon keto group that means it's a rubp ribulose 15 bisphosphate and this ribulose 15 bisphosphate catalyzed by the enzyme rubisco ribulose 15 bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase it's the most abundant enzyme on planet earth and this fix the help of carbon dioxide to form two that means two molecules of three phosphoglyceric that means three phosphoglyceric acid since so the first two stable product is three three carbon you know c3 cycle the first primary acceptor is rubp and gemins rubisco c3 cycle has three phases you know carboxylation phase reduction phase and regeneration phase will take place in mesophyll cells because mesophyll cells are rich in rubisco enzyme so it is with respect to c3 cycle but as c4 cycle you know in c4 cycle the thing is is a distinct mechanism as I, as i mentioned already c4 cycle in mesophyll cells c4 cycle takes place in bundle sheet cells 
P3 cycle will take place. Mesophyll cells, P4. See, just like SCV, the first stable compound is a 3 carbon organic acid, that means 3 phosphorylic acid. Here it is called 4 carbon organic acid called oxaloacetic acid, OAA. OAA. Oxaloacetic acid. And the primary carbon dioxide acceptor is phosphoenol pyruvate. Just like RBP here, in case of C4, it is phosphoenol pyruvate. And enzyme is phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase. Pep case, simply called. This phosphoenol pyruvate, which is a thin carbon compound, catalyzed by the enzyme phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase, so in Pep case, that means what we call carboxylation phase, see it synthesis of OAA. First stable compound is a four carbon organic acid, oxalastic acid. And this oxalastic acid, which is this, all this takes place in mesophyll cell, will again convert into, into, into other four carbon compounds like malic acid. They will transport to bundle sheet cells and they undergo decarboxylation, which leads to release of carbon dioxide. And this, then this CO2 will be takes place in C3 cycle because in bundle sheet cells, in C4 plants, it's a place where the C4 uh, C3 cycle will take place. Whereas in C4 cycle takes place in mesophyll cells. That's a, that's the contradiction. Okay. Then and this three carbon carbon again go back to mesophyll cells and again participate in C4 cycle. It's called regeneration. That's how the issue ends. So we have to understand different key aspects. Which enzyme? Which which is enzyme for responsible for carboxylation? Which one is the first stable carbon in C3? Which one is in case of C4? Likewise, which part of the difference is where the in C4 cycle the C3 cycle will take place? Is where the that means where in C4 plants where the C4 uh, C3 cycle will take place? Where C4 cycle will take place? What is plants and other likewise they may ask you. So it's about different aspects of photosynthesis. Apart from these, you know, light reaction, dark reaction, we will have to study about photo respiration as well. Photo respiration. This is very important. Okay, and also factors affecting photosynthesis. It's about photosynthesis. Then the respiration. In respiration, you know. We are going to discuss about glycolysis, Krebs cycle, Tortis, a tricarboxylic acid cycle, and then the electron transport, electron transport. Glycolysis is about basics, you know, say glucose, converted to glucose 6 phosphate, fructose 6 phosphate, then fructose 1 6 bisphosphate, then with the help of an enzyme aldolase. It will again in, be, becomes into you know dihydroxyestrone phosphate and the glycerol D phosphate, then the glycerol D phosphate into 1 3 bisphosphoglycerate, then the 3 phosphoglycerate, then the 2 phosphoglycerate, then phosphorylated pyruvate, then the pyruvate in case of glycolysis. Glucose ultimately leads to pyruvate and this pyruvate enters the Krebs cycle. How you know? It forms ester coenzyme A and this ester coenzyme A. In combination with oxaloacetate, oxaloacetate forms citric acid, then alpha ketoglutaric acid, then succinic acid, then the malic OAA, likewise. Then the alternate transport, the ATP is and that means the NADPH and FADH2. The NADPH and FADH2 which we get will be involved in electron transport. Electron transport is very important. No, there is a coupling of electron transport with oxidative phosphorylation via the proton. That means through are driven by proton pump. I mean pro, proton gradient. In case of for photophosphorylation, it's a light energy that drives the sense of ATP. But here, it's a it's a oxidation reduction energy that drives the sense of ATP. We have to discuss all this in electron transport. For example, you know, it's about like also in Krebs cycle. Say, in electron transport. To understand different complexes, say so this is complex one, complex one. Say so this is the FMN. NADPH plus H plus NADPH plus H plus NADP plus. Then this complex two. Then this is complex three. This complex four. complex 5 this 
complex 5. Here complex 1 means NADH dehydrogenase. NADH dehydrogenase. NADH dehydrogenase. This succinate dehydrogenase. Succinate dehydrogenase. Here the carrier proteins like you know ubiquinone and here cytochrome C. The complex 3 is you know cytochrome BC1 complex. So, complex 4 means cytochrome C oxidase. Complex 5 means ATP synthase. ATP synthase. ATP synthase. That means say this is in, this is inner mitochondrial membrane. The thing is, the complex one that means NADH dehydrogenase, for example, you know, here the protons will pump from matrix, this is matrix, this is mitochondrial space. Inter, that means between two membranes, you know, inter mitochondrial space. And here, likewise, in the complex three, the protons will pump from matrix to inter mitochondrial space. And the, these protons will pass through complex five. Proton gradient, that means the coupling of, you know, oxidative phosphorylation with electron transport via that means driven by the proton gradient leads to synthesis of uh, ATP. That's the differential distinction between you know, oxidative phosphorylation and the protophosphorylation. So these complexes are really involved and we understand different complexes. NADP, dehydrogenase complex 1, 2, 3, 4, like likewise. You know, in case of complex 2 means here FADH2. FAD, that means uh, the FADH2, they, they become oxidized. So the, likewise, the, as I said, as I mentioned, the reducing substances formed in Krebs cycle, NADH likewise, FADH likewise, okay, they form, that means its reducing forms will get oxidized in electron transport, driven by the proton gradient, which is as ATP. So it's all about different aspects of electron transport. Okay. And we have to understand about respiratory coefficient, so what they at definition level. But these are the broad issues that we have to understand uh, study in respiration glycolysis, step cycle, and electron transport. Okay. Then other that means sub chapter. That means uh, plant growth and development. Plant growth and development. It deals as the last stop, right? It deals within a growth. What what exactly the growth? Different definition and technical description to learn about different concepts. Like, you know, what is differentiation? What is differentiation? D differentiation. Redifferentiation. Then, understand about different plant growth regulators is very important. Plant growth regulators. There is physiological effects of plant growth regulators like auxins, giparillins, cytokinins. Ethylene, abscisic acid. Its physiological effects we understand, okay? Like oxygen, gliprin, serotonin, ethylene, abscisic acid. Then, run until the bottom of photoperiodism. Photoperiodism. Vernalization. Vernalization. And development issues also. Broad you have to cover these issues. Growth, differentiation, redifferentiation, redifferentiation. For the plant growth regulators, noxins, gepirillins, cytokinins, etherine, abscisic acid, photoperiodization, and vandalization. It's about different aspects for the covering plant growth and development. At the end, that means let us come to the individual chapter wise, you know, in class, that means plus one or class eleven, botany. Three botany. Say diversity in the living world. 
important approximate weightage okay diversity in the leaving group in the leaving group nearly 8 percentage then the structural organization structural organization in plants nearly 9 percentage and cell structure right then with respect to individual uh, approximate weightage of different chocolates you know diversity in the living world as we have mentioned already in the last class you know nearly 8 percentage structural organization plants nearly 9 percentage cell structure and function nearly 15 percentage plant physiology nearly 17 percentage it means cell structure and function plant, plant physiology is a major that means major hold what we call major share in plus one nearly around 32 percentage so what is focus much on these two chapters as I mentioned so in, in an analysis manner we have to understand and regular divisions say uh, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells different uh, significance of different phase of cell cycle and divisions plant physiology you know enzymes of uh, photosynthesis